bit hit me. I don't go to social media anymore. Um, but uh, I'm happy that we played according to plan in Cameroon. We lost uh, by a solitary goal. We were not intending to lose. Um, we opened the game today. That was our plan again. And we got a goal. We could even get more goals. But we thank God that we won uh, even though through penalties. And of course, change of tactic in the second half is mm-hmm. possible. Yeah, of course, uh, as a coach, uh, as a bench, you read the game, you look at uh, who fits, you look at what fits uh, the quality of the players versus the quality of the players. The big difference is that we played as a team and they play a lot of, of individual football. Coach, uh, Cameroon is a team that has played in the World Cup that has played also in the final of the Women's Africa Cup of Nations. What gave you that belief that, that Kenya stood a chance against a uh, powerhouse when it comes to women's football? Um, I am an instructor, a coach instructor, and uh, for a long time I have believed that um, the more we learn, the more we get uh, education on football, the more we can do better. When you get more educated coaches, when, we, uh, when our players play professional leagues and understand football well, then we can always do it. It's our time. It's our time. We've come from far. We believe. We know that we can do it. And uh, it's only time. Uh, I always say experience is not bought in the shop, so we are building it slowly, and it's coming. And lastly, coach, um, this team has has, has beaten a team of uh, great pedigree and uh, players who have, uh, of course, play, who play in uh, top leagues in, in Europe. What does it say about the Kenyan girls? First of all, we believe, and we made the girls believe that it can be done. We have massive talent. We have uh, good girls, they know football, they're playing well, they're in good teams, uh, those who are playing uh, outside Kenya. We also have a lot of talent here in Kenya. And uh, there's no difference. Just let the girls know that uh, they're playing against girls, they're playing against uh, 11, and if they play together as a team, they can do it and they've done it too. Coach. Kitengo kipi ama nifani kipi ama yola bea Unastahili kutibia mkazo sana going forward? Um, Natili ya mkazo uh, kila, kila kitengo Kwa sababu uh, the more tunasonga Maybe the more inaza kuena get difficult But uh, tunawakar Make sure that kila department Tuna like better Looking for more and uh, new talents uh, Uliona kama kwa kola pietu Tumikuwa na, na the little girl from Madira Girls uh, to go to meet a Mungina peer from Archbishop Jenga, but I'm going to enjoy at that time. So, uh, every time to have a new talent, a need, a football, a need, a competition, and uh, we see what to bring in. So, since I'm at Tikuna, Kuna Malina is our care of another, Ili Kosawa, to know better, Ili Kosawa, we are going to. Coach, I think on a two, two questions. Yes. One of them I'll put on the question I asked you on the very first day. Mm-hmm. It's your first assignment as the national champion. You've been here as an assistant. Uh, you've done uh, you know, different coaching uh, capacities. But you've come in first attempt and you've taken the team to the women's uh, couple of nations. What does it mean for you? What does it mean for the girls? Secondly, <coughs> sorry, my voice is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I answer the first question? Okay, yeah, then I ask the second. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, the first assignment, the only difference, um, and maybe I said it again, is the tag. The tag today is international match, but every day I stand on the touch and push teams, I push boys teams, I push girls teams. So the only difference is the tag. National is big because I, I represent the country. This uh, means a lot to the girls. The first time they have, uh, that uh, they have a female coach, we asked them, the first question was, do you believe we can do it? And they said, yes, we can do it. So if they believed, if those who entrusted us with the job believe, then we have no obligation but to give, to, but to give back. The second question, yesterday, <coughs> during the, the uh, pre-match press, press conference, you and the captain called on the fans to turn out in large numbers. You told them to ask for offs from their workplaces. Today, we've seen the, the attendance of the stadium, which was massive. What, what can you tell them? And did it play a part in pushing you guys to reach uh, towards the stream? It's not, not surgical, I can say that. We are very happy that uh, fans 
uh, came in numbers. We are, we are grateful, first of all, to media that you rallied fans uh, on our behalf, and they came in numbers. It's a Tuesday. We did believe that we were going to get uh, this number of fans, and they've, they've played a big role. When we went to Cameroon, uh, we only had their fans, and maybe two or three people that we knew in Cameroon or talked to Kiswahili in Cameroon. It <laughs> brought some fear to the girls. They were talking their own language, saying their own things, making a lot of noise, and that noise is not for you, that noise is, is against you. Today, the noise was for us, and it was a positive noise. We are truly grateful. Which, um, I know I have a question that tomorrow morning, the work starts again. Yes. So in terms of preparation, we have to face the people to work. What do you need in terms of preparation to ensure that these guys actually make the All you need is uh, more trains more test matches, good international matches, and I'm sure we're going to get that. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a story about women football in Kenya. And